couple of days off. The Canadians were back on the practice ice in Broussard on Wednesday. There were a couple of new faces. Brian Allen, who was acquired in a trade from Anaheim last week. And Eric Tangrady, who was called up from Hamilton. I'm staying downtown, and I got a text from him last night and picked me up, and it kind of seemed like we didn't miss a beat, you know. Um, still, at the end of the day, um, you know, he's in a much better spot than I am, so, you know, have fun with having each other in the room. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for a purpose and trying to do my job and stick around as long as I can. Um, you know, I think I had some size and, uh, into the lineup and just going to play fast and physical. You know, I'm strong on pucks, and I think yeah, I'm a guy in... You know, can help out the bottom six as far as bringing some physicality and, uh, you know, we get great line mates with uh, Maholcher and Weiss and, you know, we'll see how things play out until the end of the week. But uh, I think it's a line that, you know, with our size and, and their skill, we can be a you know, fourth line that can be counted on. I actually went back to, um, to Anaheim to get some stuff. I was on the road when I got traded and it was only a two-game uh, trip, so I didn't have very much stuff uh, and not a lot of warm stuff, so I went home and packed, so saw my family. Uh, just surprised. I, I mean, no matter how long you play the game, I think that um, anytime you're traded, it's a, it's a shock when you, you know, when you get that phone call kind of out of the blue and um, didn't really he hear, hear any rumors or, or things like that. So um, for sure, it was a shock. Oh, we were all just like, because he's just a legend, right? So I mean, I grew up in Toronto, mm -hmm. especially so watching him coach the Leafs and behind the bench and. Um, just you know, he had that old school kind of mentality, and it was just it's it was great because he was also smart enough to understand that we're from a different era as well. But um, he didn't change who he was; he just made adjustments to be able to put things in a way that we could understand. Uh, but we always enjoyed it when he kept it old school. It was fun, uh, especially on the ice and practice, and we really really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Probably the, the biggest reason why we had success in that tournament is because we were having so much fun with him. So. Um, you know, those tournaments are never easy to win, as you can see, um, over the past years. It's it's not an easy tournament to win, but... Because of the pressure to win? Well, because of the pressure, but you, you also, it's just such a short time to get together, right? And you're not familiar with one another, but when you're happy to go to the rink and you want to learn, you want to listen to the coach, you want to win for your teammates, and we were such a tight group, and a lot of that has to do with, with his leadership behind the bench. And, 